the, um, I always planned this uh, in advance and I was uh, reading, was checking out the Twitter feed of the Quebecois magazine uh, Ecole Branchie this morning. And then I saw them that they posted the, the, about the, the French version of an article. And I went like, oh, I need to talk about this. So it doesn't, it doesn't relate directly to what we were talking about. But um, it's on, on the conversation. The link is going to be in, is in the presentation. It's going to be clickable. Uh, Australian uh, professor John Hattie did a meta-analysis of 2,100 other meta-analysis to observe what are the tactics, strategies uh, that uh, really impact uh, students' learning, trying to focus, to shift the focus from the teaching to the, to the learning. Uh, so of course he talks about, so he published it in a book called the visible learning, the sequel, because he's continuing a reflection that he started 15 years ago in a previous book. But let me read you what he writes in this, the conversation article about the use of technology in education. We've been told for 50 years, the answer to our education problems is technology. But my analysis shows the overall effect remains low. We have used technology as a substitute videos instead of papier mache, word processing programs instead of using pens, online activities instead of worksheets. So often the powers of technologies, technology are really, really exploited. There are major messages from the huge body of studies that they surveyed about technology. My book, not my book, but John Hades' book, highlights some of them, including the importance of students learning from each other via technology and the value of technology in providing multiple opportunities to learn. Social media is also an important way for teachers to hear what students are thinking. Many students will talk about how they are thinking, where they are struggling and ask questions about their work using social media that they will not do verbally even when their teacher or peers are staying, standing besides them. I thought it's bringing in a very interesting approach to using technology in education, it asks very pertinent question, and it is rooted in overall the experience of over 400 million students across the planet in uh, mostly in uh, developed countries. So food for thought, a little uh, quick read on the, the conversation and maybe a book to buy to read uh, all about it. So it originally published in uh, March, 2023. So it's very recent. That's what I wanted to bring today.